Good morning and welcome to a marvelous Monday. We are excited for our weekly read aloud and we are going to jump right into it. I'm excited because I actually got a request. Um, I got a request for some non-fiction and more specifically I got a request for some information about spiders. So it was a perfect opportunity for me to wear my very cool spider hat, yes, and my spider necklace. And if you know me, know me, you know that Halloween is one of my favorite, favorite times of the year. So there's no kids around, so I don't, haven't really been able to wear my Halloween stuff, but I got a chance to wear a little bit of it today. So we're going to read two books today, actually. Our first book is fiction, and it might be something that you remember when um, adults, when you were little kids and little kids, you might remember this right now. If you've ever heard of the itsy bitsy spider, and we used to have a little hand game or hand motion with it, the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. I'm not a singer, but that's how it went. Well, who knew that there was an entire book that went with that? So today we're going to start off with Itsy Bitsy Spider. Then we're going to get into some nonfiction about spiders. So if spiders make you kind of itchy and creepy and crawly, get ready because we're going to see some spiders and some really cool spider webs today. And then afterwards, we just have a very short activity that you can do after you finish hearing the story. So we'll start out with Itsy Bitsy Spider. We also get to read big books today, so we'll see how this goes. It's my first time doing the big books, so we'll, we'll adjust where needed. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Yes, this is a water spout. And there he is, the itsy bitsy spider. And I see right now I might have to bring this just a little closer so you can see. There you go. All right. Down came the rain and wash the spider out. Here comes the rain down that water spout. There's that spider coming out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the kitchen wall. There he is on the kitchen wall. Uh-oh. Swoosh went the fan and made the spider fall. There's the fan. Swoosh. The spider fell. Off went the fan. No longer did it blow. So the itsy bitsy spider back up the wall did go. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the yellow pail. In came a mouse and flicked her with his tail. Down fell the spider. The mouse ran out the door. Then the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the pail once more. So there's the mouse. Flicked him with his tail. He fell off the pail. And now he's trying to climb back up again. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the rocking chair. There's the rocking chair and there's the spider. Up jumped the cat and knocked her in the air. So the cat hit the chair, the chair made the mouse fall, and there he goes. 
Down plopped the cat, and when he was asleep, the itsy bitsy spider back up the chair did creep. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the maple tree. So there's the spider with the cat, and there's the spider climbing up the maple tree. And I see some books and some shoes down there. So it looks like someone was doing some reading. She slipped on some dew and landed next to me. Now I see some feet. I see the spider fell. Out came the sun and when the tree was dry, the itsy bitsy spider gave it one more try. So there's that spider trying to climb up that tree one more time. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up without a stop. So there are all the animal friends looking at the its itsy bitsy spider climb up that tree. She spun a silky web right at the very top. She wove and she spun. And when her web was done, wow, there she is making a beautiful web. The itsy bitsy spider rested in the sun with their shades on. Look at that. The end. And of course, that was our fiction. The itsy bitsy spider. So now we are going to read our nonfiction and really get in to the spider. All right, this one is called Spinning a Web. So we're gonna talk about spiders. We're gonna learn about some really cool webs. And I know I learned a lot from this story. I didn't know there were all these types of webs even. So here we go. And I'm gonna put this one a little closer so that you can really see these pictures. Spinning a Web. Spiders are strange looking creatures. A spider isn't an insect. It's an arachnid. It has two body parts. It has eight legs. Some spiders even have eight eyes. Get ready. Whoa, look at that. Eight legs, and some even have eight eyes. Some spiders live in holes, the wolf spider, or burrows. Some spiders live in the water, like the water spider. That's the wolf spider. And that's the water spider. And some spiders live in tunnels, like this trapdoor spider. Can you see the trapdoor at the top? And I'm gonna show that one before I go to that next page. That's the trapdoor spider. And there he goes, he goes up, 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 up. And then that little door opens and that's why they call it the trapdoor spider. Some spiders can jump, the jumping spider, and some spiders can swim, the fishing spider. So there is the jumping spider, and I hope I never meet that spider anywhere. And there is the fishing spider. Lots of spiders spin webs. They make their webs from silk that comes from inside their bodies. You can find webs in lots of places. So this is the black widow spider. And look at that cool web that it makes. And then these are all the different places that you might find spider webs. Right. 
spiders spin many different types of webs. So I'm gonna show you those different types of webs. There's the orb web. There's the, make sure I'm saying it correctly, the funnel web. There's the sheet web. And then there's the bowl and doily web. Kind of looks like a, a bowl, but then it also kind of looks like a very pretty doily. So while they're really creepy, they're really kind of cool. The spider uses this web to catch insects for food. The male spider is a lot smaller than the female spider. He visits the female's web to mate. Hmm. All right. There's a spider catching food in its web. And there's the male spider going to find the female spider to mate. And that is a orb weaver spider. The female spider then spins an egg sac in which the baby spiders grow. After a few days, the baby spiders called spiderlings are ready to leave the egg sac. Soon, the growing spiderlings are ready to swing from their own silky threads. Take a look at that. So there's the mama spider and she has those baby spiders in there. And then a few days later, the baby spiders start to come out, and in no time at all, they are making their own webs. And there they are, the spiderlings making their very own web. Look how beautiful that web is. The end. Spinning a web. All right, a little nonfiction today. So a very easy assignment for you today is I have this sheet and you can easily make this sheet yourself. It says all about spiders. I've got a little space over here that says draw and label a spider. Because we learned a couple things about spiders. We learned that spiders have eight legs, they have two body parts, and some even have eight eyes. And then on this side, I want you to write all the new things you learned about spiders. Super proud, MPS proud.